Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that the point 1, 0 lies on the curve y is equal to sine of 10 pi over x. We're asked if q is the point x sine of 10 pi over x, find the slope of the secant line pq correct to four decimal places, for x is equal to all of these values. We're asked, do the slopes appear to be approaching a limit? So if we have these two points, 1, 0, and x sine of 10 pi over x, we have to find the slope of this line. The slope is the change in y, so sine of 10 pi over x minus 0 over the change in x, x minus 1. This is also just sine of 10 pi over x over x minus 1. And we just have to calculate this for these various values of x. So I've done that already. And we can see that it's right here. And you notice as these values get closer and closer to 1, we don't seem to be approaching limit at all. We bounce between positive and negative values, right? We hit 0, negative 10, positive 6, right? It's all over the place. And if you just want to pause and get these calculations down, go ahead. But no, we don't seem to have a limit that we're approaching. And so B, we're asked to use a graph of the curve to explain why this doesn't work. If I pull it up right here, we can see why. Because this is just, as x gets smaller and smaller and closer to zero, we can see that the function is like doubling back on itself over and over and over again. And we can't see at all the, um, I can't even drag because the function is so complicated, we can't see at all what is going on with this function. And so in order to get an accurate reading of the slope at this point, which we can see um, is at the point one equals zero, we're trying to get very, very close to that. Oh, don't need that. We can see that we're gonna have to choose points very, very close to it. Otherwise, the slope isn't gonna be accurate because it's gonna think that this is just one straight line when in reality we're going back and forth and back and forth. So in order to do this, we are going to do the calculation, which is actually that screen that you just saw right before when I flashed it on the, the, uh, the computer, which is to do the calculation for 1, 0 and 1.0001 sine of 10 times 1.0001, or sorry, 10 times pi, over 1.0001. And if we do this calculation, we get that this is equal to the slope sine of 10 pi over 1.0001 minus 0 over 1.0001 minus 1. This calculation will get us negative 62.8. This is the slope of the tangent line at P, estimated, of course. And we do this by doing a very, very small interval, which will allow us to not be confused by the 50 up and down lines that involve this function in that range. So our final answer is negative 62.8. Just again, I can leave you on this uh, page with all of the values that you need for part A.